Well, an area college professor is now claiming that Clintonville has been hit by at least one more tiny little quake. Yes, yeah, City Administrator Lisa Coos sent out a release late this afternoon saying that the equipment for the U.S. Geological Survey detected a quake late Thursday night. Michigan Tech professor Greg Waite reviewed the data, and while he usually does not confirm earthquakes, he does believe that Clintonville was hit by one that measured 0.1 on the Richter scale. The USGS had previously recorded a quake measuring 1.5 in the area last month. Also new from Clintonville today, uh, we can hear for the first time indications of what may have been the booming that's been shaking the city for a couple of weeks. Now that audio recording uh, is not a recent one, uh, nor particularly clear, but the U.S. Geological Survey has confirmed that the sound is consistent with that of an earthquake. Well, even with the recording, Clintonville officials say they still need people to uh, help out, try to find out what's going on in their town. Fox 11's Bill Miston has today's update. Two weeks after Clintonville residents started reporting booming noises and vibrations, there is now audio proof. Here it is again. The city released the recording to the media early Monday morning. And then had to go back and try to figure out, you know, it's not something as simple as just playing it back and seeing if you can hear it. Clintonville City Administrator Lisa Coos says the recording is from March 24th at just before 4 in the morning. However, Coos says it wasn't until this morning that the recording could be sent out in a format that was clear enough to be heard. In an email between the U.S. Geological Survey and Coos, the USGS told Coos that the boom, when in graph form, is consistent with what we would expect with an earthquake. It's here at the City Utility Building that Brian Sullivan, a Madison Area Technical College student who had been working off and on with the city, recorded the boom. UW Green Bay Geoscience Professor Steve Dutch says the recording is interesting and still adds to the mystery. It sounded like nothing so much as somebody whacking on a 55 gallon drum. So, so, something like this looks an awful lot like that sound recording. Dutch agrees with the U.S. Geological Survey's determination that the waveform of the recording is consistent with earthquakes. However, Dutch doesn't believe the boom came from seismic activity deep in the earth. He believes the sound came from somewhere closer to the surface. It's too sharp and too distinct. Coos urges people to still call Clintonville police if they hear any type of boom. So it's also important not only for people to call, but to make sure that they look at their watch as soon as they hear it. The U.S. Geological Survey and Michigan Technical University installed four seismometers and audio equipment around the city last Thursday to determine where the booms are coming from. In Clintonville, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Now, the U.S. Geological Survey did confirm a 1.5 magnitude quake in Clintonville on the 20th of March, but it still says it cannot explain why residents continue to hear reports of noises and vibrations. Now, if you want to hear that tape yourself, you can click on the main story on our website on fox11online.com.